Can we do the oral history of bulging disc here? Okay. All right. Um, so you take so, the night off. So, yeah, I took the Did night off. Did you have on. a good excuse? Like, really, was it a last second thing? I, I, I think, can't remember. I think my my wife may have had a baby. All right, so that's important. We'll yeah. give you that one. Okay, so I once yeah. again, I tune in. Yeah, <laughs> you're watching. And I tune in and see Oberman take his right. I think yep. Keith takes his yep. glasses off. He He's crying. Yeah. He's laughing so hard. And I go, oh, my God, Keith, Keith just melted down. <laughs> and then they go to you. Yeah. And you guys can't keep it together. Yeah. Okay, so set up bulging disc. Right. This is the last time we're ever going to bring this up. Good. And then we have the audio that right. we can play. And then this is it. So this is three years in, I think. So 96 is my is my recollection of this. It's Maurice Hurst of the Patriots. And um, so you're off that night. And it's still, the, the times I got to co-host with you and or Keith were very, very intimidating. But this was Monday night. And this was a big deal because we would welcome everyone who watched Monday Night Football on ABC. We'd go to break after the game's over. Hey, welcome to those here. This is Sports Center. blah, blah, blah. And we go through a rip of injuries from Sunday's games. And uh, Maurice Hurst of the Patriots is suffering from a bulging disc in his neck. And again, it really wasn't the prompter's fault. I typed it correctly into the prompter, and, and I make the mistake. And then I, I really kept it together for quite some time, and we are in, in video of career-ending injuries to other people, and then we start to lose it. And, and Keith is really no help, and, uh, <laughs> and I'm really trying to keep it together. And um, the, the behind-the-scenes story that I don't think was told, so Mike McQuaid, we have a— Mike McQuaid was the producer of SportsCenter. At the time, right. Yeah. Now he oversees all SportsCenter. Yeah. Uh, so we, there was a figure skating story to come out of this, which my guess is probably belonged to Keith. He would do the next story. It was the death— of a figure skater, okay? Oh, boy. So in our industry, when a story goes away, we put it down later in the show, we say, kill it. Yeah. So kill the figure skater, right, is is what McQuaid says, meaning we're not going to do that story. Well, that everybody cracks up over again. She's already dead, right? Yeah. So, uh, so, <laughs> so we can't handle that. The cameras are shaking. <laughs> Um, Keith is doing his thing, and Keith has the line, which is, you know, Steve, do we have any video of that? <laughs> I, I, oh, I thought it was, thank God we don't have video well, of that. Well, along something those like lines, yeah. And so everybody loses it again. I mean, the cameras are shaking, you know. <laughs> and, I, I, Dan, I really thought I was going to get fired. I, I really did. Um, it was such a big deal, and, and I, I'm walking out of the studio, and I people are carrying tapes, you know, under both arms. I had 50 voicemails by the time I got back to my desk from prominent national broadcasters who I've never met before. And um, and then I got a call from Norby the next day, and I thought this was the, your fired call. So Norby is your boss. Yeah. The head of Sports Center. Right. And he says, uh, hey, that's some of the funniest television I've ever seen. <laughs> Keep up the great work. And I swear to God, to this day, once a month, someone will approach me and say, hey, you're the, you're the bulging disc guy. And I'm like, yeah, cool. Guess I am. Got to be known for something. Here's how it played out that night. And now the agent for Hearst has come out and said he will file a grievance against the Patriots that according to NFL rules, the club should not have been able to release his client because he was injured. The agent claims that at the request of the team, Hearst has been playing with a bulging di disc in his neck since the start of the season. The Patriots spokesperson declined comment on the matter. Others that are banged up from around the NFL. <laughs> Jeff Hostetler re-injured his left it's shoulder. downhill from here. By Chad Henning late in the first half of the Cowboys. Oh, there's more. Games status to be addressed on Wednesday. Giants quarterback Dave Brown left in the fourth quarter after having the win knocked out of him in the game against the Eagles. <laughs> as far as the Lions quarterback is concerned. Not bad though, right? No, no, considering. You're, you're holding on. Spraying right ankle. <laughs> there you when go. When Jim Flanagan rolled into him, status is day to day. <laughs> now you're in trouble. Oh, Eagles quarterback. Ethan background. <laughs> you said it. Suffered a bruised hip flexor. In the first half of Sunday's Eagles Giants game did not return. He's expected to be back Sunday against the Redskins. Mike Mamula, his teammate, <laughs> suffered a dislocated left shoulder. He's expecting to miss two weeks. <laughs> Jaguars quarterback Mark Brunel on this fine play, running into the end zone for fine the touchdown. Play. Straightened his right hamstring status uncertain. <laughs> Man, there is nothing wrong with these injuries. This is not funny. This is serious stuff. Finally, the Bengals James not Francis funny at all. broke no. a bone in his lower left leg. Francis out for the year. My apologies. Not laughing at the injured. Not laughing at the injured. Oh. <laughs>
Sorry. Other injuries, thank you. Other injuries without the pretty pictures. Strickland knee, Jones, the Cowboys leading tackler, groin, Minter his shoulder, Logman foot sprain, and Seth, the ankle sprain. And thanks for your help, Keith. Something, something wrong, perhaps. All right, now to the haven of college sports where. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So fast forward to we're so old, uh, Maurice Hurst's son playing at Michigan last year. Uh, actually, the last couple of years, and I had been begging my producers, like, if we get in a Michigan blowout, we saw a ton of Harbaugh the last few years. And I've said, you know, we had, so we had it loaded, and uh, we finally I begged my producer, Bo Garrett at the time, and uh, he finally, after Mohurst Jr. makes a sack, says, all right, fine, let's do it here. <laughs> we roll it in, and the kicker is uh, Maurice Hurst Jr. on Twitter tweets at me and goes, you know, my mom never told me about my dad. <laughs> Bulging, Bulging, and there you have it. Discs. Yeah. You're a good sport. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.